Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how I install chains on my John Deere X370. I'm prepping it for winter. I already put on the snowblower. Um, so I always find it difficult to get the chains on. What you're supposed to do is back it up over the chains and then put them on. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you, but I struggle for hours trying to get it done. So my little trick is I like to put my car jack underneath the rear frame because it's just a solid steel frame and it can easily support the weight of uh, lifting it up. Okay, so we're gonna jack it up here. And we need to jack it up about an inch. All right, I'm gonna start jacking here. Okay, and you can see now the wheels are already off the ground. So I like to get it up about an inch off the ground, just enough so I can slide the chains underneath. And so once I feel I'm, I've got it up sufficiently, I'll remove the jack, get it out of the way. So now I'm going to come over here and try to get this chain on. I just be careful if it ever slipped, I wouldn't want my fingers to get jammed. So I'm going to just use this chain to just kind of slide it underneath. That. So now you can see I can easily get the chain around the tire. Now all I got to do is just lift it up. Hey, get out of here, you. All right, actually, I'm going to lift that the jack just a little bit higher because it's not quite enough clearance as I would like. For those of you airplane movie lovers, you got clearance, Clarence. <laughs> All right, so you can see that now it, the chains come around nice. You can easily maneuver them. Okay, the first thing I do is I can come around this side. I'm going to snap the, I'm going to attach the inside of the chain first. Let me put it on this one. So that was this piece right here. One side has this funky clip here and then you just put that in the farthest one. And then on this side, you can come over on this side. This is now when I'm gonna get this one through probably here. And that's too loose. I'm going to try putting it through this one. And see, now you can see I can easily uh, rotate the tire. I can pull on it however I need to to get it to the appropriate position. This is where it takes the most amount of time is to play around with this thing. So this is obviously the hardest part is to get this freaking thing on. So let me try it like this. I bet you this will work. So now I got it on. You can see I got quite a bit of space right here. So these chains are all closer and then there's a big space here. I try to bring it down to the bottom and then jiggle the chains around so that the spacing isn't quite as, isn't quite as far. And that should be it. I got the, uh, the chain in here and that's pretty much it. If you find that it's too loose, you have to just kind of monkey with it a little bit more and try to get a little bit closer. But other than that, 
I find that's to be the easiest way to get the chains on is by lifting it up. All right, thank you.